hi guys and welcome to this video i wanted this video to be a step by step but unfortunately it took me so long it took me around three days to complete this project and uh, i didn't have much time to make it step by step it would have taken me more than a week and make it a very long video which i don't like Because I always remove the default title bar, this function will allow you to move your window using a mouse. to create CRUD operations that is adding and deleting and updating existing data from uh, from and in, uh, in the database and for security reason you need to under login page and this is our login page where we have an option to set up a new user for the very first time we open this application you need to set up a new user and a password so that next time you open, that option would be available. You will only add once the first time you open. You'll be using that password to access your main application. This button here will be only available once. There's no user in the database. Mine is disabled because of a registered any user. And once I log in here, you can see we have these three fields here, these three columns, date, accounts, and username. Then we have the send menu, which lists all the current user. I've already have my three users here. You can add the read. For example, I can delete those two. But we have this admin. Admin, you cannot delete. It's already a static field set on a source code. But you have an option to reset that one you can only change that on source code once you compile this application you cannot delete that user the reason i left that user is for my own reason for you you can change it here the read user you can command these two lines uh, the if statement and the return statement all you can tweak it to fit your requirement for me i needed it to be like that because i needed a uh, I didn't, sub, I didn't uh, apply any option to change uh, to reset your password of which you can do that, that on your own it was very simple when I rerun this app you can see this button now it's enabled that means you have not registered another user or there is no new user registered this will happen for the very first time you open this application all you have the written all the users
after adding those users, now you can see that button is not accessible, meaning there's no way to reset your password and there's no way to create a new user. So you have to remember that. And that's why I added this default admin. And admin, that's all just a password I chose. You can use any complex password, which you can remember. In case you forget your password, you can use that password to log in. Otherwise, you have to reset your database. Now, we can create new user. And once we create new user from here, that user will be stored in database and it will be shown immediately in real time in your application. So far, you have seen we have the three columns, date, account, and username. Now, you might ask why is the password? By default, password is hidden because the purpose of this application is to manage your accounts and hide your password. We have this button here, show password. Once you click this button, you still need to re-enter your password. The ones, the one you logged in, if you have multiple accounts, you can't use those uh, multiple passwords. You have to use the current user password. Once you use it, you can access your field. Once you click that button again, then that field will be disabled or be hidden until you re-enter your password again. I did this because sometimes you can leave, uh, you can leave your computer open or your application running and anybody can access that. So they can only access your username and your account but they can't access your password. That's the reason I added that feature. Same thing with accounts. Anything you add here will be updated in real time in your application and still upda get updated in your database. Another cool feature I added in this application, like for me I'll be managing more than 100 accounts, so I don't have to scroll down looking for that account, I can search it by name. If you will need uh, access to database itself and manage your database, you will need to install MySQL. If you want to use this project the way it is, I'll include a SQL database so you don't have to install MySQL. One thing you'll notice once you run uh, your database, user password is not stored as a print text, it's stored as a hash. That means, even if somebody else get this database, they cannot get your password. For those who understand uh, hashing, once you hash a password, that hash is not reversible. Hash functions are one way. You cannot reverse them. Now, you can see, we can check this in real time. Anything you delete from database will be deleted in your application in real time. Same thing. You delete from your application, it gets deleted in real time from your database. And there's no backup for that. Once you delete, it's gone. For the case of accounts, we cannot touch the passwords because we need to fetch them from database and display them to the user. And you, as I said, Hash passwords or hash values are not visible.
Thank you for watching that video. Thank you for all my subscribers. Like, subscribe, and share if you're not. And uh, you may have noticed I do release a video every month. And sometimes for last month I did it twice. Maybe for this month I might do it three times or more. I do create this video once I get a free time. This channel is very new and your support will help me create more content every week, every month and every time. Kindly subscribe, like and share. Thank you. See you next time.